credit if you're paying some money. How do you feel about that? I think if you don't have the time to do it yourself, I think it's uh, it, it, it's viable. I mean, I, I really do. I think if you if you have the time to, to do it yourself, you don't need them. Because, I mean, realistically, uh, you can repair your credit. I, you know, I, I, I did a credit uh, show on my uh, website, thewbshow.com, and, you know, people who listen to that show, credit jumped 80 points in 60 days. And, and it's a simple thing to do. I mean, people think repairing credit is very, very hard. It's not. You just got to have some money and understand how to use the tools that's available to you in order to, to clear things up. I mean, one of the things I tell people is crucial for repairing your credit. If you want to get your score up, you want to get your credit cards to 20% what the value is of what you can borrow. Meaning if you got a $1,000 card, you don't ever want it to go over $200 that you owe the credit card company. If you can keep it at that 80-20 ratio, your points will automatically jump up if you're over that. Uh, I tell people all the time, challenge stuff on your credit, you know, because they have to legally prove that it's not yours. And if they don't do it by a certain time, it has to be legally removed off your credit report. I, I, I've told people this year, especially because a lot of people aren't aware of this, uh, back in July, the major credit card companies, TransUnion, Equifax, uh, Experian, all made an agreement to remove liens and other things that was on people's credit that was destroying people's credit because so many things were being reported inaccurately. Most people don't know that this is going on, and so it's still sitting on their credit report because they've never challenged it. If they challenged it because of this new standard that these credit card uh, reporting agencies have, they're going to pull it off your credit. Guess what? If you get a lien on you or you got a debt on you for an accident, you got back child support and it's wrong and they pull that off, your credit jumping a hundred something points right there. I mean, so it's just little things like that, understanding those kind of nuances is how you can, can build your credit up. Also, if you got a loved one, you got a husband, you got a, you, you got a son and you want to build up his credit, if you got 800 credit and you got, let's say, five credit cards, put them on as authorized users. It's called piggyback. You put them on as an authorized user, don't give them the card because you don't want them to burn up your credit. But you let them be on there, and every month that you're getting this good score reported, they're getting the same good score reported on their credit report, which is building their credit up. So it, it's just taking the time to be thorough, taking the time to look at it, taking the time to find out what's going on with it. It's challenging. And like I said, most people don't even know about this new standard that's in place about liens and, and you know, you had a car accident. Because it's been so many things that was reported inaccurately that people – you know, we're fighting it. And so finally the, 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 the uh, reporting company said, look, there's been so many discrepancies in these filings that we're just not going to let y'all put it on their credit report anymore if the people challenge it. Most people don't know anything about it. The other thing that I want to tell y'all is this. Um, I grew up in the in Inglewood in Chicago. I went to Lindblom for high school. And I grew up standing in, in cheese lines with my mom. But I've also been blessed to, you know, go to dinner at the White House, spend a night in the White House, the Christmas parties in the White House. I've been around a lot of folks with a lot of money, and it's amazing to me how rich people look at stuff compared to poor people. Rich people look at bankruptcy as reorganization. Poor people look at bankruptcy as a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, y'all. If you file bankruptcy, a Chapter 7 bankruptcy to remove all your debt, once you're in discharge, you can get any credit card you want. You want. You know why? Because they want you to reestablish credit. They want you to reestablish it because they want you back in that circle of being in, in debt because that's the new slavery. You can buy a house after two years if you got a Chapter 13. If you got a house and they got equity in it and you're drowning, file a Chapter 13. Save your house. Save that equity. Refinance the house. It's, it's little different things like that that you can that you can save your situation thinking that it's no way out because I don't want to file bankruptcy. The reality of it is is Rich folks do it every day. We call it reorganization. Poor people call it bankruptcy. That's the difference. So, everybody, my uh, reason for showing this video is to share with you this company that I have been with for a while, and it's called Financial education services and what i want to do now is take you